Today's video is on the problem based on functions of complex variables. So now I am going to find out the conjugate harmonic function of u and also find an analytic function. See here u is given as so u is given as e to the power of x square minus y square into cos of 2xy. Now we have to find the conjugate of u. What is conjugate of u which is nothing but v. So first of all I am making a derivative with respect to x that is dou u by dou x. So this will be of first function and this is second function. See here this is first first function. If I make a derivative this will be x square minus y square into 2x. So this is cos 2x by as usual. And the next one I am leaving the first function that is x square minus y square. And for cos 2x y this is minus sin 2xy and again for x this will be 2y. So got it? So this is our dou u by dou x. So I am writing once again dou u by dou x is nothing but this is 2x cos 2xy minus 2y this is a sin 2xy into this is e power x square minus y square. And the next one if I make a derivative with respect to y so, if I make a derivative with respect to y, see here, this is dou u by dou y. So, there is no, okay, okay. This is again u v. So, for u, that is x square minus y square and this will be minus 2y. Now, I am leaving this is cos 2x y I am leaving. And next, I have to leave this e power x square minus y square. And for cos, this is minus sine, that is 2xy. So, with respect to y, this is 1. So, this will be 2x. So, if I write, if I write once again, then this will be dou u by dou y value is, dou u by dou y value is, this is minus uh, 2y, this is cos 2xy minus 2x, this is sin 2xy into this is e power x square minus y square. So, we got the two values dou u by dou x and dou u by dou y and now we have to find the analytic function so for finding an analytic function i am using milne's thompson method for finding analytic function see here i am using which method that is milne's thompson method according to the milne's thompson method according to the milne's thompson method so we have we have f of z so, f of z is equal to that is u plus iv. That is u plus iv. If I make a derivative with respect to x, that is f dash of x is equal to this is dou u by dou x plus i into this is dou v by dou x. And now I am going to use the CR equations. So let me show you what are CR equations. So, CR equations are nothing but dou u by dou x is equal to ux is equal to vy. And u y is equal to minus v x. So these two are nothing but the CR equations. So u x is equal to v y and u y is equal to minus v x. So here u is given, the real part is given. So we have to transform v in terms of u. So in place of dou v by dou x, I am going to write minus dou u by dou y. See here. In this, I am going to write f dash of z is equal to, this is dou u by dou x. In place of dou v by dou x, I am writing minus dou u by dou y. So, there is again i here. And now, I am going to substitute both the values as I have dou u by dou x as well as dou u by dou y. See, f dash of z is equal to, so we have f dash of z is equal to, this is dou u by dou x minus i times of dou u by dou y. Now, if I substitute from here that is dou u by dou x see this will be f dash of z is equal to f dash of z is equal to this will be this is e power this is x square minus y square this whole thing i have to write 2x into this is cos 2xy minus 2y into this is a sine 2xy and the next thing here is dou u by dou y so the dou u by dou y value is like this that is minus i times of this is e power minus x square y square this is minus 2y cos of 2xy minus 2x this is a sine 2xy so f dash of z is like this now according to um, Millis-Thompson method I can replace so we have to replace 
so from this we can replace x by z and y by 0 now in this if i substitute x as uh, z that is f dash of z is equal to y as 0 that is e power z square in place of x i'll keep z so e power z square and this will be 2z and this will be cos 0 so as you know that cos 0 is 1 so y 0 so this is finished and the next one minus i times of e power minus z y is 0 and sin 0 is 0 so this whole thing is 0 so what remains f dash of z is equal to e power z square into this one is 2z so if you observe f dash of z value is equal to e power z square into 2z and now if I integrate on both sides, so integrate with respect to z on both sides, then what happens? See, in this case, if I keep z square as uh, z square as t, and this will be 2z dz is equal to this value is dt. So, see here, this is f of z is equal to this is e power t into this value is dt. So, this value is dt. So, f of z is equal to, this is e power t plus c. So, what is t here? So, t is nothing but z square. So, this will be e power z square plus c. So, which is nothing but the analytic function. So, we got the analytic function as e power z square. So, which is nothing but the analytic function. And again, we need the harmonic conjugate. The harmonic conjugate of u is nothing but v. So, if we expand this, so as you know that, c f of z is equal to, this is z is equal to x plus i by whole square. So, if I expand, then see what remains here. So, this will be f of z is equal to, this is e power a square minus b square plus 2xy 2xy into i. So, this will be f of z is equal to, this is x square minus y square into e power 2xy into i. So, f of z is equal to, so this is the real part x square minus y square. So, this can be written as, so this can be written as cos 2xy plus i sin of, this is 2xy. See here, as you know that e power i into theta is equal to cos theta plus this value is i sin theta so using this using this i wrote like this so this will be f of z is equal to so f of z is equal to e power x square minus y square into cos 2xy plus i times of e power x square minus i square into sin 2xy so we have from this f of z is equal to see here we have f of z is equal to that is u plus iv so if you compare what is u that is e power x square minus y square into cos 2xy and what is the conjugate conjugate of u is nothing but v so the imaginary part here is e power x square minus y square into sin 2xy so this is our imaginary part see it's so simple and let me explain you so u is given so first i made a derivative with respect to x i made a derivative with respect to y and for finding the analytic function so i used from the millis thompson method we have f of z is equal to u plus iv so if you see f dash of z is equal to dou u by dou x plus i times of dou v by dou x so using cr equation in place of dou u by dou y dou x i wrote minus dou u by dou y so dou u by dou y so i substituted all the values see dou u by dou x from this dou u by dou x i copied here and dou u by dou y from here so after copying i replace x by z and y by 0 so uh, what is left over e power z square into 2z so i made integration on both sides and this is our analytic function so what is z here x plus i by so if i expand so so this is the real part and this is the imaginary part u is real part and v is the imaginary part so the harmonic conjugate of u is nothing but v and this is the analytic function and this is how we have to solve using millis thompson method thank you so much for staying till the end please if you practice definitely you will get so if you don't understand go through this video for one more time and definitely you can understand for the second time and please pass it on and please take time to raise your thumb and subscribe to this channel